delectable find, the studio behind the successful Kickstarter game Broken Age, was recently released to the backers two weeks ago. However, the general public, which included myself, only got our grubby hands onto this beautiful point and clicking game this week. The game is currently split into two acts, the first act being available now, and the second act being released later this year as a free download. Is this Kickstarter game which caused a massive Kickstarter campaigns to begin actually any good? Or did the developers go astray from their initial proposal for this project to their backers? This video has no major spoilers so it is safe to watch. The story of Broken Age is told through the perspective of two children, Shay and Vela. The game will follow them in their coming of age story while they tackle two situations that will change their lives forever. You can choose to play as either of the two main characters right from the get go and you're not restricted to finishing one before the other. Shay's story begins with him living on a spaceship that has been custom built to look after him and keep him out of danger. He is being treated like a child and seeks to escape his prison-like life. Vela's story begins with her village offering young sacrificial maidens and herself to Mog Chogfra, a creature that comes every 14 years to feed on them. If they don't do this, the creature will destroy their village. Vela wishes to escape this fate and wants to kill Mog Chogfra like her ancestors did before. Both tales are engaging and you will come to feel for both these characters who are trying to escape their bounds that have tied them to their fates. The story is also told through the many different characters you'll be interacting with, reinforcing these two worlds you'll be exploring. When you finally get to the end of both the chapters for these characters, you'll be left with quite a cliffhanger, and you will be wanting to know what will happen next. I can't believe she'd leave something this dangerous lying around. What's that? Nothing. The story of Broken Age is told through the gameplay of a classic point and click adventure game, similar to the lines of The Secret of Monkey Island, Simon the Sorcerer and Day of the Tentacle. You will guide the characters through the environments while you try and solve the puzzles or tasks that block your way from progressing. You will do this by grabbing any item that isn't screwed down to the scenery which will let you progress further. Like other games in this genre, you've got to think either logically or the most unlogical ways to complete these puzzles. Out of the two stories, Shay's is much shorter and a lot more simpler, however this doesn't detract from his story since you'll be able to see it at a good pace. While Vela's is spread across a much wider area and the puzzles use strange item combinations that make no sense half the time. This put me off her story even though it had the most promise since I was walking back and forth trying to understand the logic of some of these puzzles. I shamefully had to check online a few times to get the solution. In her chapter, it is advisable to try and combine every item in your inventory if you ever get stumped by a roadblock. This does cheapen the experience though, since you don't feel like you're actually solving it, but just through pure luck. There are also conversation windows with other characters where if you choose the incorrect answer, you won't be given an item you need to progress further. This can be a burden having to re-listen to the same conversations time and again till you've chosen the right one. Thankfully, the developers have included a skip button to bypass conversations you've already taken and the characters you control also move around the environment pretty quickly and there is even a fast travel button if you double click on any exit in the area. The game unfortunately doesn't have much interaction with the beautifully designed environments than in other point and click adventure games. You can't look, touch, pick up, use or anything that isn't relevant to your mission. This type of information you can gather brings a lot of depth to these style of games, but without that being here, it's kind of flat. I have a feeling the design choice behind this was more than likely to consider the porting of the game to iOS and Android devices in the future, to not make it overcomplicated with a touch interface. This won't put most people off if they get invested with a story like I did, but if the story doesn't grab your attention, you may be disappointed with its overly simple controls and puzzles. Okay, computer. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me Mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. Okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. The one thing the game has got going for it is presentation. The art design for this game is wonderful. Each of the areas are beautifully detailed and bring the environment to life. Vela in particular has you exploring a wide range of environments, while even though Shay is stuck to a spaceship art palette, the designers have done a great job of bringing each part of the ship to life. Each of the characters are well designed and give off what type of personality they are even before you've spoken to them. It also helps that each of the characters are well scripted and voiced by the likes of Jack Black, Will Wheaton, Elijah Wood and Jennifer Hale. 
To complete this overall packet, the music is charming and suits each of the environments you'll be exploring as well, and set the mood perfectly. Actually, I just want to get off this cloud. Oh, I understand. You're quite mentally ill, aren't you? Have no fear, you've come to the right place. Broken Age is a great achievement by Double Fine, and not being restrained by publishers has really let the company be more creative than they normally could be in the past. The game could have easily gone astray, but backers of this game should be proud that this game has come out like this. The game costs £18.99 in the UK, around €23 Euros in Europe, and around $30 in the US. It's a bit pricey since you're only getting access to half the game, that'll take you around 3-4 to four hours to beat. You will however get the second half later this year for free. If you're looking for a more charming point and click adventure game than the recent take on the genre by Telltales, The Walking Dead and The Wolf of Monsters, then look no further than Broken Age. The game's story and visuals alone is well worth the early investment in this stellar game and is a great way to relax on these cold winter evenings. If you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel and also check out my weekly news segment here on Grammatically Incorrect. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.